Hello everyone and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis and more specifically on little omega. So in this video we want to prove that n squared is little omega of n using limits. Now in the blue rectangle here I have what's called the limit asymptotic theorem and it states that if we have the limit as n approaches infinity for a function that we call f of n divided by another function called g of n, and it's equal to some limit that we call l, then if l is equal to zero, that means that our function f of n belongs to or is little o of g of n. And if our limit l is equal to c, where c is some constant value, then our function f of n belongs to or is big theta of g of n. And if our limit l is equal to infinity, then our function f of n belongs to little omega of g of n. So we're going to use this limit theorem to solve for our problem. So the first thing that we need to do is identify our function f of n. So f of n is equal to n squared, and I got that from right here up top. Okay. And then next thing that we want to do is identify our function g of n. And g of n is equal to n. And I got that from up top here. Okay? So now we've identified both of our functions. Let's go ahead and take the limit of these functions um, for f of n divided by g of n. We're going to take the limit as n approaches to infinity to figure out this uh, problem. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the limit theorem. So we take the limit as n approaches infinity of f of n divided by g of n. And this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by n. So I'm substituting in our values n squared and n for f of n and for g of n. And this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n, because n squared divided by n is equal to n. And this, of course, is equal to infinity. OK? And that is our limit that we call L. So now we can go back at that and go back and look at that theorem and check to see which theorem, which case applies to our problem here. So right now our limit L is equal to infinity. So it looks like that third case applies, which states that if L, our limit is equal to infinity, then our function F of N belongs to little omega of G of N. So I'm gonna put three dots here, which stand for therefore, so therefore, the function f of n belongs to little omega of g of n, which implies that n squared belongs to or is little omega of n. OK? And that is our answer. So. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.